Across Southeast Texas, groups gathered to celebrate and remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A breakfast, brunch, volunteer days, and even protest all took place throughout the day. 12 News reporter Pierce Kane is live in Orange tonight, the scene of one of those protests. Pierce. Yes, Southeast Texans spent the day keeping the dream alive by honoring Dr. Martin Luther King. If you've driven down Martin Luther King Drive in Orange, you may have seen one of his quotes pop up on the billboard behind me. I'll tell you more about the group that put it there a little later on, but here's how others spent their day. This morning in Beaumont, it was the 31st annual breakfast at Douglas Memorial CME Church where they honored Dr. King through praise dance, music from the Beaumont United High School, ensemble and remarks from Reverend Michael Cooper, the president of the Beaumont chapter of the NAACP. The party continued at the 34th annual MLK brunch at the Bob Bowers Civic Center in Port Arthur. The MLK support group honored people from Southeast Texas who displayed Dr. King's character. This is a day that we are able to just recognize everyone, show respect for everyone and move forward in being sure that equality is practiced on every vein. That's my prayer. Now back to the billboard. This afternoon, a small group of Orange residents protested after raising money through a GoFundMe. They put up a billboard for Martin Luther King near Confederate Memorial on MLK Drive. They believe the Confederate flag is still hurtful and symbolizes white supremacy. This was their third annual protest with the hope that the Sons of Confederate Veterans will change the memorial to an all-veterans memorial. Coming up at 6, you'll hear more from the people who attended these events and what they took away from it and the message that they want you to keep in mind year-round. For now, I'm live in Orange, Paris Kane, 12 News.